going to get a traditional Obaji blue pill today. And the blue pill was um, developed, uh, Dr. Obaji was the one who first developed the blue pill way back when. And basically what it does is it, it's an acid and it soaks down about three layers of skin. So anything that's sitting in those top three layers of skin peels off. Now this is one of those peels that you can't have it done and then just go about your rest of your life and it won't show. This one you have downtime. Your skin turns really um, a dark brown color and um, you have peeling that can last up to eight to nine days. Um, it's very aggressive. So this kind of gives you an idea and I'll pass this around. Uh, this is day seven of the peel. So that's it, gives you an idea um, of kind of what you're looking at. So what it does is the first couple of days after you have it done, there's not a lot of evidence that you've had it done. So I have a lot of patients that do go back to work, um, but day three, four, it starts drying up, it starts turning brown, and day four, five, it peels around the mouth first. Uh, before it peels though, it's like you're kind of talking like this, so don't go out and buy a Subway sandwich because there's no way you're going to eat it at all. So you can do yogurt, soups, smoothies on day four-ish. Once it starts to peel and crack, it's like big sheets that come on, and it does around the mouth, and then works its way out towards the hairline. So about nine days total for the peeling process. The results of it is anything that's in those three layers of skin, brown spots, fine lines, gone, peels it off. Now what I always tell people is brown spots usually sit a little lower too, some of them. So you still want to follow up with that using the Obagi products um, to help keep those off or maintain the results. She's been on the Obagi products um, as well prior leading up to it. I do recommend before doing a peel, I myself do them once a year. But um, I do recommend like once a year doing it because if you're on the Obagi products, um, which she'll talk about in a little bit, it preps your skin. And what the blue peel does is it just goes deeper than what these products do. And it just captures anything that's sitting a little bit lower in the skin. Um, as far as any pain or discomfort, it's a little tingly, burny now putting it on, but for any pain or discomfort afterwards, there is none. It's just painful when you look in the mirror. That's it. So um, that's about it that I can tell you about the Abaji Blue Peel. So I'm going to turn this over to Heather. She's going to explain the Abaji products. We are exclusively Abaji um, practice. We don't use any other products. We've tried bringing other products in, but we always go back to the Abaji because it works. It's one of those few products, you know, we're bombarded by consumers that like, this is going to do that, this is going to do this, and you don't know what to buy. You know, it's like this one does your dishes and this one vacuums your, you know, I'm just but you know, it may smell good, it may look good, but it's not really doing anything and you're paying a hundred, two hundred dollars sometimes for these magical creams that don't do anything. Uh, the medical grade product is different than a cosmeceutical product, which is over the counter, QVC, online, medical grade, which is pharmaceutical grade, uh, prescription grade is only in a doctor's office. So. The difference between cosmeceutical, Mary Kay type, multi-level marketing type products um, is this is a prescription. So I'll let her talk about that. In the meantime, I'm going to put the peel on Elaine, and um, unfortunately, she does have to drive home blue. I think you're stopping at your chiropractor's office, right? Yeah. Um, but she'll get home, and she's going to wash the blue off when she gets home. So, all right.
the products are fantastic. Uh, Babaji's been around for 30 years, so we just finished celebrating our 30 year, which is probably one of the longest standing skincare lines on the market. Uh, again, this, like Roxanne said, this is medical grade. And what really makes it medical grade is, one, it has to be physician dispensed, and that this system here is neuter, contains hydroquinone. And hydroquinone, this is 4% hydroquinone. And anything over 2%, 2% can be found in a grocery store. So you go to CVS or Walgreens, and you can find 2% in the grocery store. Hydroquinone is a skin bleaching agent. That sounds harsh, but you've got pigmentation and sun damage, brown spots. Hydroquinone removes the sun damage. And this kit, 4%, what makes it medical grade and prescription is 4% hydroquinone. So we have a lot of products on the market or in our, in our system. But what's really nice and what you think about is when you're getting your neurotoxins and your injectables, one thing is that tightens, maybe fills some of the, the lines and wrinkles you have. However, they pair very nicely with the Abaji system because you still have sun damage. You still have maybe old scarring. You still have some of those other fine lines and wrinkles that your neurotoxins cannot get to. So that's where pairing it with Obaji really comes into play. Um, we have many different options for you. This is probably our flagship product, or really an all-in-one system. Um, it looks like a lot, but you're not doing this morning and evening. You're doing a couple of these in the morning and a couple in the evening. Um, there's a cleanser and a toner. And what really makes a prescription greater is, is a, this is our cleaner, which contains 4% hydroquinone. It's bleaching the surface of the skin, getting rid of any sun damage, brown spots, melasma, any old scarring. Um, then you have your exfoliating, your exoderm, which is a, a exfoliating lotion, getting rid of some of those, those skin cells on top, removing that. Then you have a blender, which is another 4% hydroquinone. And we pair is that, that with red no, egg. It oh, even oh, further oh. down below, because as Roxanne said, some of those brown spots are really deep okay, below the on. surface, and that removes that. And you also have a moisturizer and then a sunscreen, because if you are bleaching the skin, you want to be careful with have sun exposure, so you will need a sunscreen. So in addition to the neuterm system, we have many other SKUs available. Not long we enough. have our elastoderm, like which Dr. Fisco loves. Okay. Um, feel and feel it? our elastoderm yeah, okay. is our eye cream. Um, just as I was saying earlier, injectables can really only inject in this area, but our elastoderm is the entire eye. People don't realize you also have wrinkles up in here when you close the eyelid. You have underneath in here. Your neurotoxins is only here, so of course you need to want to get the entire eye, so we really call it the neurotoxin in a jar. Um, so it's fantastic. We have a cream and we also have a roller ball. So you really have two options for you, and that is a phenomenal product. Probably actually my mother-in-law and my mom's favorite one that they like always oh, ask, do you have more? Do you have more? Um, Elastiver. Um, we also have the vitamin C, straight vitamin C serum, which brightens the skin. Um, that's in the serum. They also have that available for you. That's been, and all of these products that I'm mentioning are elastiver and the vitamin C can all be incorporated into the system. Um, yeah. So you can add it during different points. Um, what else is there available? There's moisturizers, there's hydrate you can purchase individually. They have Retin-A. I would highly suggest pairing the Retin-A with the system. Um, it comes with it. Oh, it does. Okay. It comes with it. Um, you add it with the blender, which penetrates even further down below the surface. Um, we also have other SKUs, which is the uh, Susan Obaji, which is a little bit um, no parabens, no synthetics, no dyes. There's a cleanser, a different cleanser available. Um, we have Red Advance, which contains a little bit of aloe, which is 0.1% retinaldehyde. And that, again, is for fine lines and wrinkles. Jeez, let's see. Am I missing anything? Um, the sunscreen, the tinted sunscreen. We also have tinted sunscreens, which actually I use. Um, I use our tinted sunscreen every day, but even below my foundation, because oftentimes we say our foundation has an SPF. But does it have UVA and UVB IR protection, which is these lighting, your cell phone, but when you're, you know, that light that comes in from the uh, window work yeah. or your house, um, the tinted sunscreens are great. I don't want to wear makeup on the weekend, so I apply the tinted sunscreen so it gives me a little bit of coverage. Yes. So if you were going to start with your Abaji system, what would you recommend? I would. I would. Absolutely. They are selling it for $540, and that also includes the Retin-A, which is a phenomenal, I 
phenomenal price. I cover the entire state, and oftentimes it is not, the Red A is a completely separate, and then they're adding it included, so I would, yeah, I would. And then once you're done, you know, Roxanne will probably be your go-to, but she can probably customize a routine or, you know, skincare routine once you've been done, or if you need to go on it again, or maybe just add a few of these products, or vitamin C, all of those things she can customize for you. Uh, Roxanne would probably be the best because it's one of the first. Would you do the peel first, then this, or opposite? I would prep the skin with the product first. Get it um, in the best possible yeah. condition yes. and then do the peel. With this. Yes. Yeah, she'll do a consultation because they just don't, yeah, they don't want to give you the kit and then just walk away. They really like to walk you through. Especially, this, this is, you know, a couple months product, so as you're doing this system, you're going to be kind of transforming the skin, so you might have a little bit of flakiness, you might see a little more of those sunspots come out, but that's actually because it's, you know, bleaching and you're transforming the skin, so she really likes to go through and walk you through what you're going to be experiencing through the system. So, does anyone have any other questions I can answer?
what she's doing right now is just kind of cooling down. It's kind of like climbing a mountain. It's kind of like tingly, tingly, warm, 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 hot for a couple minutes, and then it's back down. So she's on the back down, um, just waiting to cool off a little bit. So, but it feels really tight as it starts to do it because right now what it's doing is it's separating those skin layers right now, and. Um, you know, that's some of the prickly, tingly feeling that she's getting right now is it's separating those. And then it's, like I said, like day three and four, it dries up and peels off. No problem with this. It's the superficial layers. It's not like, you know, we're like going way down to like your fat layer or anything like that. Um, no problem with the peels. Today, I think it's three Oh, yes. Not at all. Once it peels, you aren't red. Um, your skin's not irritated and open and seepy, nothing like that. It just dries up, peels off. And um, sounds kind of like maybe they had a laser or something for the procedure. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, this is not that type of procedure. Would they just say nine days? Yeah. It's a good one, though. We're going to do it. It's a good one. Yeah. So we're going to do a drawing. Oh, go ahead. Do you send some certificate afterwards? No, I mean, you still have to use the sunscreen, the 50 SPF. For the first month, you know, if you're going to be out in the sun golfing, I always want you to have a little bit extra hat on. Um, but, you know, if you're using Retin-A or getting peels like this, you do want to protect your skin from the sun, for sure. So what she'll get is like brand new skin, you know, when this all peels off. <laughs> It stimulates collagen. Yeah. Yeah. To tighten it up. Yeah. So is that like an acid? Yeah. It is an acid. This is all It is an acid. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Cooling down. So I think that. I think Dr. Husto is going to do a wrap hole, and this one is for the microderm abrasion and the radiance peel. Now let me tell you about what the radiance peel is. The radiance peel is like their lunchtime peel, which means that you can come in, I put it on, it's an acid, uh, we take it off and you go back to work and you get a little bit of flaking peeling over a week's period of time, but it's nothing on this level. Uh, just a superficial top layer. Just superficial. Uh, this one or the other one? Uh, this one is skin tightening and removing brown spots. And then the radiance peel is very fine, like lines, crepey skin. If you have more deep folds or anything, I mean, that's more of a filler. But it definitely for fine lines and improving the coming. Yeah, and it brings more blood flow to the surface of the skin, so your skin looks brighter and better. Um, and then for the radiance peel, is more like if you have an event coming up and you want your skin to be glowing and bright, um, that's good for that. The microdermabrasion version that we're giving the free raffle for is basically sandblasting the skin, for a better way to explain it. But it's little crystals and suction, and you come in, and I just go over your whole skin surface, and it removes anything off the top layers, dead cells, cleans out your pores, and then I put the radiance peel on top of that. So we're doing a raffle for that. And I'm not sure where the raffle girls are. Mike, do you know where Don is for the raffle for the blue peel radiance? 